What's up guys? Today in Wise Up, we're going to be looking at the spine, how to take care of it, and to avoid common injuries. So we do spend a lot of time on other parts of the body as we should, like the ankle, hips, knees, shoulders, upper back, things like that. But we need to kind of take a focus on the spine itself. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. So amongst all the injuries we could possibly get, a lot of the most serious ones occur in the spine. Everyone knows about disc herniations and how they may happen. Uh, these could happen from a variety of different reasons. Um, a lot of the most popular ones are kind of stemmed from inside the hips, weakness or imbalances, as well as the core. Because we live in such a sedentary lifestyle, uh, our spine does take a lot of damage from that, from being in flexion all the time, sitting, driving, lifting. There's a lot of compression that grows in the spine and we need to kind of take care of that directly. So with all the compression that we're doing throughout our day and activities on the side, we need to decompress the spine. So we're gonna start this one off with one of my favorite spinal decompressions to do. It's one of the easiest ways to decompress your spine. So all you need with this one is a pull-up bar or something similar to kind of hang off. If you want, you can grab some straps if you have a weak grip, that way you can hang longer and benefit more from this one. So starting this one off, you're gonna grab the bar about shoulder width. Really try not to squeeze your arms and tense your whole body. You're trying to hang loose here to again, let your spine relax and decompress. So you're gonna hang here for about 30 to 60 seconds, maybe even a little bit longer. One of the best tips is to think about your spine reaching the floor, as well as playing around with the angle of your pelvis. Try anteriorly tilting it as well as posteriorly. And add in some rotation to vary it up. All right, and next up is going to be on the Swiss ball. Again, we spoke about being flexion all the time, working on things in front of us. Extension is one of those things we don't get enough of, especially in the spine. We don't necessarily want extension everywhere in the spine, such as the lumbar, or maybe even cervical sometimes, but we really want it in the thoracic spine. Not enough extension in this part of the spine will lead to shoulder injuries, headaches, thoracic outlet syndrome, and a variety of different shit. Shoulder injuries, headaches, even lead to depression because of your posture. All right, so to perform this one, uh, you're pretty much gonna be having the Swiss ball behind you. Try to get your entire back on the Swiss ball. Gently open yourself up and extend over the Swiss ball in its entirety. If your neck starts to hurt a little bit, roll the Swiss ball a little bit higher just so it supports it a little more. Again, the time with this one is, is really up to you. Uh, this could be the more the better. This is great after a session or maybe on a day off. So upwards of 30 to 90 seconds even. Now we spoke about flexion and being kind of locked in that position for a prolonged period of time. So now that doesn't mean that we shouldn't use that range of the spine. Uh, that just means we don't want to be stuck in that all day long. So this one's going to be uh, the Jefferson Curl. So it's mainly a flexion exercise with a little bit of extension on the second half. All right, so with this one, what we're trying to teach the spine to do is almost to fold over controlled segment by segment to relieve a lot of tension in the spine. You may see online a lot of people do weight this exercise with a barbell and barbell and weights. Uh, again, these people have earned the right to do such, so don't just jump into it like that. My advice is to try to get body weight and work your way up slow. The key with this one is to go extremely slow and almost feel every segment of your spine. So the weighted uh, Jefferson Curl, you just need a box and a weight for your hands, be it a barbell, dumbbells, kettlebell, whatever have you. Make sure it's something you can actually control. Go through the same steps, just actually go very slow, and you should find even more of a benefit with this one once you've mastered the body weight one. All right, so next movement of the spine is going to be lateral flexion. Our capability to execute lateral flexion is going to be a main player with the relief of pain of the QL. So it's not just stretching the QL, it's also using that movement for the spine. So with this one, we're gonna just use a stretch for it. Uh, we're gonna go next to a pole or a doorway, try to get our feet in line and our hips in line with that doorway or post. Grab both hands to the post, have your feet beside said post, or if you want, put one on top of the other and think about leaning and pushing that doorway away and feeling the stretch on the opposite side of your spine. 
We do need an adequate amount of rotation in our spine for various activities, sports, just living. We can't leave this stone unturned, right? Uh, one of the most common stretches is the L-spine stretch where we're on the ground. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a twist which actually gets your T-spine involved as well. Okay, so you're gonna start this one off on the ground. Uh, all you need is a foam roller or something like a cylinder or even a pillow. Um, you're pretty much trying to mimic the position of an L-spine stretch where you're on the ground. You're gonna put that pillow or foam roller between your knees. Get your knees at about 90 degrees. Face one direction, have both of your hands together, the same side as your knees. I'm gonna leave my knees and my leg against the ground the whole time touching, and I'm gonna take my hand that's on top and rotate my whole upper body to the ground on the other side without raising my leg that's on the ground. You may not be able to get this from the get-go, so gradually try more and more to touch the ground and try to breathe out and relax each time you do it. Try to hit this for 12 to 15 reps on each side and you'll see a huge improvement. So try out one or a couple of the exercises or mobility deals I just kind of gave you guys. Try it on your routine, see how it feels. You should find a lot of relief uh, from the stiffness in your spine and you'll be on your way to actually taking care of it properly. So don't be afraid to hit me up and I'll see you on the next video.